Hey guys, Jared here with a Gamervation video. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate claims that everyone is here. However, there's still quite a few characters in the gaming industry who are still yet to make an appearance in the Super Smash Bros. series. And I believe when Nintendo inevitably release a Super Smash Bros. 6, they're going to follow a very similar pattern with what they did in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in terms of releasing a whole DLC package. I'm sure those DLC sold like absolute hotcakes and it extended the life of the game which myself and I'm sure plenty of other Smash Bros fans really appreciated. But who will these DLC characters be? Well stay tuned and I'll run through my top 10 list of who I believe we could see in a brand new Super Smash Bros game. And if this is your first video here, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me and I would love for this channel to one day reach 100,000 subscribers. I know we're a little ways off at the moment, but you know, a guy can dream. Now I'm going to start off this list by saying that I'm not going to rattle on about some very obvious choices that we've all heard millions upon millions of times before, especially if you are a subscriber to this channel, you would have heard me speak about some of these characters, so I'm not going to dwell on them, I'm going to I'm gonna sort of get through them as quickly as I can, so you know, I'm not wasting your guys' time. The first two characters I believe will be Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, they're both such iconic characters and with the recent reprise of their series they're more popular than ever so, yet you know a lot of people were saying how they were very strongly predicting that Crash Bandicoot was going to be in the next in in the most recent Smash Brothers game but you know obviously things didn't work out for that so you know the idea of a Super Smash Brothers 6 I think that means that Crash Bandicoot and potentially Spyro will be front runners for it. Next up is Rayman. I mean, what? I think that's pretty obvious at this point. Like, Rabbids have worked so, so closely with Mario. Rayman is in a DLC for the Mario and Rabbids game. It, it just makes absolute perfect sense. Quite frankly, I think it's shocking that Rayman hasn't been added to a Smash Bros. game as of yet. Now with this next prediction, if you dared utter this person's name when we were predicting Super Smash Bros. Brawl characters, you would be laughed at in the street. But with the most recent DLC additions that we've seen, I don't think anyone's out of the question. I don't think you can bash any character prediction at this point. Like, it is clear that anyone is possible to be added to Super Smash Bros, which is why I'm going to say Master Chief. He is a gaming icon that like even people who don't aren't really familiar with games are familiar with Master Chief or like they know of the character because he's just so universally recognized at this point and you know maybe Snake might not make it into the next Smash Brothers game meaning there will be a slot open up for that character game style which Master Chief would fit in perfectly. Next up is Doom Slayer who I understand, aesthetically wise, he does look quite similar to Master Chief, some people would argue, you know, he's a big green guy with a lot of armor and he uses guns also, but Doom is an iconic game in the gaming industry. Not only is it incredibly popular now with the additions of all the most recent Doom games you've been getting, Doom has been around for decades and decades. It is an absolute classic. You know, it, it really shaped and formed a lot of first-person shooter games. And as far as I know, we don't actually have any representatives for first-person shooters in Smash Bros, which is quite a shock actually you know, you know the first person shooter games are, are such a staple within the gaming industry heck let's allow doom guy to be the representative of not only doom but for first person shooters as well next is a sonic representative i'm sorry but it is an absolute crime how sonic has not received an additional character to smash bros sonic has been in smash bros since brawl and we've literally seen third party characters join the game and have additional characters added in like Street Fighter and Final Fantasy 7. It is absolutely outrageous how we haven't had a second Sonic character. Now I understand we've had additional Sega characters but you know it's not the same, we don't care about that, we want more Sonic characters. 
And for me, the character who fits the bill perfectly would be Dr. Eggman. You could put him in this really incredible, like, mech suit. And I know we've kind of got Bowser Jr. using, like, a sort of a mech kind of suit thing. But, you know, you could be so creative with it. We don't just need one character in a mech suit. Let's, let's have two characters. And, oh, you've got, you got so much to play with, with Dr. Eggman. Whether or not you sort of go for a mech suit similar to what you had in Sonic Adventure 2, or you go for something completely different and a original to smash. The, the possibilities are endless. Now I understand that some people would make a shout for Shadow to be added to the game. I, I kind of feel as if Shadow would be a bit boring and to be honest he fits the bill perfectly for an Echo Fighter if they do bring Echo Fighters back to a new Smash Bros game. Next up it's Waluigi. Now come on Please, just give the fans what they want at this point. Everyone goes crazy over Waluigi, whether that be Waluigi Pinball for uh, for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, or just Waluigi in Smash. I mean, heck, there were so many petitions and songs and videos and memes about Waluigi. At this point, it would just be... It, it would just be so good to the fans for them to give, give us this little nod to just allow us to have this. I know they've given us a lot of characters who we've wanted before in the form of Banjo Kazooie, but come on, th th let's just sneak Waluigi in there as well. Now, I know this next character a lot of you are going to absolutely hate me for saying, but I cannot ignore it at this point, and that is a representative from Fortnite. Whether you like Fortnite or not, it is undeniable how big of a game it is. I believe, like, the revenue or profit they made last year was, like, in, like, the five billion bracket which is absolutely insane and you know and Marvel and, and Marvel Fortnite has actually crossed over into Marvel movies now like this is how big Fortnite has become and since Smash Bros is a celebration of all things gaming well you know we've had Steve who's, who's coming to represent Minecraft which is the best selling game of all time you know Fortnite is definitely one of the highest played games of all time, whether you like it or not. Personally, I don't really care for Fortnite. I, I would I rather Fortnite not be in Smash Bros, but this is a prediction video and it just, at this point, you cannot ignore Fortnite and it just makes sense for there to be some sort of representation in Smash Bros. Next up, I hope we see the assist trophy upgrade for Bomberman. I think Bomberman is a classic character who's been in the industry for decades upon decades at this point. And if Bomberman was actually announced for Super Smash Bros., I would be not only very excited for him as a character, but I'd be so intrigued to see how Sakurai would design a move set around him. He would be such a unique character, and with all his games spanning across the decades, you've got a lot of material to work with there. So. I would just be so excited to see how he would turn out and you know Sakurai loves a character who's very unique and very different to any other existing character so I feel as if Bomberman fits the bill perfectly. Now this one is a bit mental but let's be honest we've seen so many mental characters added to Super Smash Bros. I don't think you can bash any character suggestion at this point. We've had Wii Fit Trainer and we've had Duck Cunt Duo and we've had Rob the Robot like any character is possible at this point, and that is why I'm saying Tetris, or should I be more specific and say a Tetramino? I think this could be a really fun character. They could change the shape, and each shape could be similar to Shulk, where they're all like, oh, a bit more powerful, or, or they just kind of move differently to each other. One's a bit faster, one's a bit this, that, and the other. I'm not sure if they'll go and do that specifically, purely because that wouldn't really be, you know, truthful to the game since no Tetramino was faster or stronger than the other but you know what I mean I think it could be a very fun character and you know before Minecraft was released Tetris was the best selling game of all time so you know let's give it some respect I, I'm, I'm shocked there's been no sort of no little nods to Tetris across any Smash Bros game not even in the form of an assist trophy or anything so heck that let's have a crazy off the wall character in the form of Tetris. And now my final character, I know a lot of you are going to probably click off the video the second I say their name, but please bear with me, and that 
is Goku. Now I know one of the biggest rules in Smash Bros is that the character needs to have originated from a video game and obviously Goku hasn't originated from a video game but there have been people very much expressing an interest for Goku to be in the game so it's not completely like oh no one's even talking about it. No there is an active interest and I think there would be an active push to have Goku put in the game from third party representatives. And it's undeniable that Goku has most definitely served this time within the gaming industry. He has been in so many games spanning across the decades, all the way back from the PS1 to current generation consoles. Goku has most definitely served this time, and you know, I feel as if, if there's an exception you have to make to it, I feel as if Goku's the guy for it. He's just absolutely perfect, and... Maybe Smash Bros. 6 will be the very first Smash Bros. game in the entire series to break that rule. But what do you guys think of my predictions? Do you agree with any of them or do you perhaps disagree with some of them? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to all things Nintendo.